Hey everyone and welcome back. This is an introduction to a new playlist that I'm starting where we're going to be creating a simple character customization system as well as a kind of shop area uh, where we're going to be tracking by saving and loading the number of coins you have available and the cost for you to unlock the objects in the store and whether or not you already own the objects as well. So this is going to be a slightly more advanced series than I've created in the past. For that reason, I'm going to assume that the people following along will have at least followed one or two of the other playlists on the channel, have a base understanding of blueprints, how you interact between different classes, setting things up, and just navigating the engine in general, at the very least. For that reason, I also don't want to start with a completely empty project like I normally do, because there's going to be a few classes and things that are going to be important to have, but it would be a waste of time me explaining them because again, the people I would expect to be following along with this playlist already know what a game mode is, how to create them and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is package the very basic requirements for the project. I'm gonna upload that for free. Everyone can download it. Uh, and I would recommend doing that just because I'm also including the very simple character and the assets that we'll be using as the customization. Now I've made sure that all of these are scaled properly. All of the socket connections and things are in the correct place. There's a very simple animation, things like that. So I'd recommend using that project just to follow along and then you can take that knowledge as you want into your own projects. And this is just so that it's gonna be easier for me to troubleshoot any issues that you're having as well uh, when you're following along. If you have any questions or anything, I can just assume that we can ignore that the scaling and things like that are already correct because you're using the same as me. So this is gonna be the effect that we have in the end. Uh, it's gonna be a very simple menu. I haven't quite finished yet, but I wanted to show the basics of what we're gonna have. So I'm intending to add things like a currency, how much you have. I'm going to change this button. So one thing is that depending on the headgear, so we can swap through the different things we can customize the character with. So if we have had already purchased this hairstyle, rather than saying buy, it's going to take into account whether you own it. If you don't own it, the button will take into account whether you have enough to pay for it. Uh, if you don't have enough, then it will be grayed out. If you do, then it will be lit will be highlighted uh, with the word buy. If you've already owned it, then it will change to say equip, things like that. And then on top of this, we're, like I said, we're gonna have a save system. So it will keep track of what you've purchased, what you were last wearing so that you can then go into the gameplay level and it will remember what you've chosen to wear. So at the moment in the project I'll be providing, you have a main map and a menu map. So we were just in the menu level and then the main map will just allow you to run around. Um, I've added a simple animation so when you're idle you can move around and this is just to confirm that the attachment of the headpiece is working correctly so that it's going to follow the animation, scale with it and things like that. The blueprint classes that we have, we have a mode for the general gameplay, which is, like I said, the level, and then the menu game mode as well. We're going to be doing things through the player controller, such as just setting the input mode. The player is all fleshed out with the movement that you need, as well as the skeletal mesh and the animation blueprint. So the animation blueprint's very, very simple. Like I've said, it is just looking to see if you're idle. If you are, then it's gonna play this. If you're moving, then it's not gonna play anything. And then we've got our headpiece, which is just an empty static mesh attached to the parent head socket. So we've only got a few bones in the hierarchy that we can see just here. And it's attached to the head end. Um, and because of some oddities inside of Unreal Engine, when exporting from Blender, I've just needed to add a 90 degree offset to the hat to make all of the headpieces to make them rotated in the correct direction. And then we're gonna be changing them this way. So this is all, like I said, very simple stuff that probably doesn't require a tutorial or a video on how to get this in. So I've just provided this as the template project. So if you go from this, like I said, you're gonna have all of the assets ready to toggle through when we start going through the logic of seeing which cosmetics are available to purchase or equip to the character. And that is pretty much everything. So like I said, this was um, only an overview, just so you've got an idea of what the playlist will be, how you can interact with it, and the recommended way to follow along. The link to download the project will be in the description below. I'm just going to put it through my Patreon page so that all of my download links are always in the same place, but I'll just make that a public post that anybody can access. 
And as with everything, if you are already supporting me on Patreon, then you will have full access to the complete project as well, so that you can go through that and kind of reverse engineer and play about with that as you wish. But um, to save myself and everyone else some time, I just wanted to provide at least a very simple template version to start with for this project, for this playlist, which is kind of different, which is why I have this intro video. So hopefully you're looking forward to this. I think it's going to be really interesting. I think we're going to, like I say, dive into a few more advanced topics in this playlist compared to previous ones. And yeah, look forward to that. So as always, if you enjoy these videos or find them useful, uh, then please do leave a like and share the video around. That always helps. Do consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel. And of course, if you're already subscribed, then don't forget to hit the notification bell so you actually get updated when I release things. And of course, it helps the channel. As ever though, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.